Okay, so what I was doing today is replacing the water pump. It's really hot. Got myself a tent over top of me and working on the car. Uh, I don't think it was super difficult. It's just you have so many items to take off before you actually get to the water pump. So uh, if you can go on Pelican Parts and they'll give you a little bit of a detail of what you need to do. And I'll show you a little bit too. All right, so basically what you're gonna to need to do is get rid of the radiator, take that out, which I did in mine. I have the old one here and I bought a brand new one. So I'm gonna replace that. I just want the system to be working really well. Uh, so take that radiator out, which is pretty easy. Remove the clamps, uh, take it out of the socket there. And I just cleaned up uh, the condenser, took this all off and you know, just get it nice and clean. That takes a lot of time, but you know, it's up to you what you wanna do. Um, all right, so next you definitely want to take off your hoses, uh, remove all the stuff that's on the top here, your sensors, the uh, thermostat, take all that type of stuff off, which is pretty easy, just a little bit time consuming uh, to get that off next. So after you get that, what you're going to need to do is take this bolt, and I'll show you in just a second, there's a bolt that goes over here, um, I believe those are 13 millimeters also. Take that out and just move your power steering pump back a little bit. Now, I got this out already. You're gonna have, when you're doing this, is four bolts onto your water pump. And I'll show you. Here are the four bolts, and you're gonna have it kind of set up, as I guess as we're looking at, it's gonna be like one, one here, two, three, and four. This one right here is the hardest to to get to and I'll just show you why real quick where it's you can see there's a bolt right there that's really easy to get to and then on the other side of that I'm not sure how well this is coming out but I'm trying there's another one that's directly right there which is very easy to get to but then there's one that's down oh crap you probably not gonna really see it that well but there's one down in there and then there's one that leads down into side here, which is kind of difficult to get out. But if you have um, one of these big babies right here, um, they have 50 to 80 pounds of uh, torque that it can uh, remove in a nice 10 inch uh, extension and a 13 millimeter, you can actually get to the bolts on this side. I hope you guys can see this. On this side, down here, and the one that's gonna go across um, down into there. It's a really tight space, but this setup right here that I have, I got this from Walmart. It was $35, so, you know, it's nothing major. Uh, was perfect to be able to get those out. Okay, and also uh, make sure when you're taking the uh, serpentine belt off and you're removing your pulleys, it's very, very simple to do. Uh, make sure, Just make sure you have one of these bad boys right here. Walmart, $35, can't beat it. These are 13 millimeters that um, we're going here and I'll show you another picture of where that, where is that properly. But this is an up close look. Right. This, so when you get your uh, kit, uh, I got this on eBay. This was $42. Uh, just double check to make sure the VIN is right uh, when you order it. I'm not exactly sure they had a split year. This is a 95, the last year they made this. So if you have a 94, 95, I think they're kind of clumped together, but 93, 92, okay, maybe separate. So just double check. And you're gonna have three um, rubber washers here, washers, whatever, I don't know, gaskets, whatever you call it, could grief. Um, and it's three. I, it doesn't come with any instructions on exactly where to put these, but you'll figure it out as you take it off. One goes here, which will seal that up really nice and tight. So just make sure you have that one there. You have the big one, which is pretty obvious. That will go on top here where your thermostat is. So you'll see right there your thermostat and then you have a third one which is a really small one and that actually goes to the metal hose that's connected to over here you'll just clamp that right on over there over top of this and make a nice little snug fit because actually what this is going to do is go back inside there and you're going to bolt that on so it's pretty easy so just in case if you were wondering what every one of these uh rubber gaskets or four that's where those three go so it's small one large one goes into the thermostat housing up on top and then the kind of medium-sized one goes here at the bottom 
because it's going to cover that. All right, one more thing to look out for when you are purchasing your uh, water pump. Look at the back, this is actually the front. And when you flip it around, you can just go ahead and look at the back. And you will see that here, this is what they're looking for in the split years. Either it's sealed or it has a, a hose or something going to this side. Mine, my 95 E320 has it sealed in the back here. And the brand new one has a little uh, adapter that goes over top of that and goes in the screws here that seals it. So when you're looking for your water pump, just make sure that is either uh, sealed or has something that goes over it or there's a hose installed into it. So my uh, E320 95 is sealed. And this is the original one. All right, and then here is, okay, so you got the bolt right there. I'm sorry, where am I at? Yeah, so you have the bolt that's right there to get off. I'm not sure if you can see it. See, it's right there and you come across. This is the ones that are on top and you can see the other one right there. They have the one that's off to the side here that's going to be kind of difficult to get to. I'm not sure how you can see it. That's how far it is down there. So make sure you have your extension. That's where bolt. I'll say that one's number three. And then the last one is number four, which is here, which I just showed you. So you kind of get it, tighten it up just a little bit. Okay, so it's on there pretty good. All right, so a little voiceover quick. Uh, make sure you go ahead and put the top hose back on, on top of the radiator from the expansion tank. Uh, put the two-piece uh, shroud fan uh, cover back on, which is pretty easy to do. Slide it back into the slots at the bottom of the radiator. Then put your uh, top hose back on um, and the third hose that goes around to the other side of the engine. Uh, make sure you connect that, tighten that up with the flathead screwdriver um, or the 8 millimeter. Um, at the bottom with that hose there, I definitely recommend using the 8 millimeter um, uh, to tighten that back up. Uh, make sure it's really tight because it will leak if your hose is, um, is not tight enough. So I definitely recommend doing that. So make sure your hoses are on there nice and tight. Um, and then go to the thermostat housing right here. Those are two, three 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, make sure those are nice and tight. And then get your uh, dash. Uh, that, that sensor right there is for the dash. And the other one is for the computer. Um, put those back on, which are pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Uh, just tighten those up. Uh, by pushing them down snugly and you're good to go so yeah I think once you have that um, just make sure your serpentine belt is on there okay um, make sure everything's uh, tight uh, check for leaks by starting the car up oh hey what's up YouTube okay so I have some quick tips for you that may help you out all right, so if your car or your E320 or whatever you're driving out there, I'll just say the E320 because that's what I have right now, for example, M104 engine. If you're slightly overheating, which I mean it's not running super, super hot, like in the red zone, still staying in the white zone, which Mercedes-Benz con uh, considers safe, uh, which is above the 82 degrees Celsius. Um, if you're running hotter than that, number one, check to see if your fluid reservoir, uh, oh, let's see if I can align you right as I'm looking, is right here. Make sure that this has plain fluid inside of it, uh, coolant. Make sure there's no oil inside there because, you know, that would be a separate issue, which all these M104 engines and the older Mercedes experience, the head gasket failure. So, you'll know, that would be kind of a separate issue that you need to take care of. Uh, I would definitely say... Get rid of that uh, thermostat, replace that. Those can be 16 to about 30 bucks. Uh, replace those hoses. And like I did also with this car, is I decided to get a brand new radiator, as you see in the clip. Uh, I bought a new one off of eBay. Uh, that was, I think, $69.99 with free shipping. Or you could get the original equipment one for about $400, $400 to $499, I think it was. Um, I'm not personally spending that kind of money on a radiator. It's, uh, I would say they last for maybe four or five years in perfect condition, but after a while they can rust in the inside and it doesn't allow it to cool as best um, to its ability. So I would definitely say if you are going to get your system working perfectly and keeping that temperature around the 82 degrees Celsius, depending on your thermostat uh, choice, I would say definitely put those new hoses on, put a brand new water pump on, 
and put a brand new uh, radiator so make sure that system is fresh it's new and you know the the coolant can go through it can hit that air it can uh, cool off and go back into the system perfectly so that's definitely a recommendation that I will give to you as watching this video so as always uh, hit the like button subscribe share check out some of my other videos so I can keep in contact with you guys uh, leave a comment down like I said, Mercedes-Benz doesn't really share this information freely with uh, the market out there, especially us with the older cars. They really do not care about us <laughs> out there. So it's up to us, up to our community to really reach out, to help each other, uh, to work on the cars. And I'm going to say I'm not the best. I'm not a certified mechanic, but I'm trying. And I hope this may help anybody out there in the entire world that has a W124, which are pretty much awesome cars and they made millions of them back in the day i love them and hopefully this helps you so uh see you in my next uh video good luck